on Twitter, and sitting next to me is Gandhi, the man, legend, an animal, an animal. We're going to be on board with Nate Shot. Toji's bringing out the sniffer. Yep. Nate Shot, I, I'm actually very curious as to see here. Based, based on this, they're looking to send one guy up to A, and he's looking to get a kit pick bottom Gina's. Now he's going to rotate back here, switches his mm. class, and I really like to play too because he's like, you know what, I'm not going to get a pick here. I'm just going to switch it over. Scump rocking out to a thermal. Big T with that red dot, and Ricky, Ricky just mark. going with the head glitch. There you go, Ricky with the head glitch. Able to pick up some hit markers. He's going to go ahead and frag it, see if he can get lucky. Maybe can, and uh, don't think he picked up a kill there. He does have bomb on loading, and he is going to get stunned. Hopping on board with Big T as he's going to be up top, just overlooking middle. Well, actually, more than less watching the flank. Nate Shot does get a hit marker with the first frag. Oh, oh. wait a second. Maybe going to get a kill here. He's gonna be and there he does. Is. Wow, what a nice kill. Taking out Slasher for the first blood. Yep, that is a very, very heads up play there from Nate Shot. Seeing since his teammate caught him and he said, hey, listen, he's brown tarp. We just need some nades over there. Nate Shot said, I got two of them. And there you go, you see Scump with the L105 out with the dual band. He's going to get that nice light, uh, line of sight. Not going to spot anybody just yet, however. He's going to be pushing up and just hanging out He's here too dead. and loading. And that's two down. Miyagi and Slasher down. We see some gunfights going on. Ricky is going to be weak. Big Timer is going to now go on that flank. And uh, uh oh, Ricky does go down. Oh, she wrote. Scump, and there it is. Stripe is going to go down. Off the nade shot, stepping up. He's currently 2 and 0. Scump, 1 and 1. Big Timer, 1 and 0. Oh, Optic leading 1 and 0 in the series. Yeah, you know, if. If I'm an Optic fan right now, I get a little bit scared as to whether or not Elevate is going to be throwing A's at them. If Elevate throws an A at them because they have three mm. really, really good, good subs, subs, Optic is going to have their hands full. Right. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. I mean, some teams just really like going to B, and based on the directions of that, we are going to be seeing yet another B push, so Optic fans, you may be okay. Yeah, we see some Remington's coming out. Miyagi's rocking Remington attached, rocking that sub slasher. He's going to have that dual band, just the same gun as uh, we saw Nate Shot rocking and peeking through the slots in the wood. Not able to spot a player just yet. However, B is the most common bomb site, and I feel uh, uh, players go here really to, you know, kind of fill out your opponents and see what's going on. Yeah, you know, you, you can contribute it to that, or you can contribute it to just basically comfort. Right. Um, Normally, nine tenths out of ten, you're going to see players who run smoke, uh, and the smoke in this game is really good. And so you're going to see a lot of people just end up just pushing E just because. Uh, who's on that flank? Me, Avi. Look at this. He's hanging back now. This is a risky move. You know, Nate shots. He's notorious for those flanks. However, he is putting himself out of the game. Miyagi is by hanging out in the back, and he's not able to support his players if it does hit the fan. Now, Strike just hanging out, overlooking B. Time is wasting away with just 30 seconds remaining. Shots are going to be fired. Miyagi's going to go ahead and rotate over. He's going to get that call out though, which is even more important. Now, Miyagi's going to be looking for this guy, and he's going to be lost. All four members of Optic are all bunched Bunch together. Together. Okay. This, it looks like there's chicken pox on that side of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see a Kobe coming, but look, now it's going to be a two v two situation. Nate and Ricky up. We're going against Miyagi and Slasher, the duo. Got to watch out for that. This is actually just no, excuse me, Ricky's up. So we're going to see how it's going to happen. Is the bomb is going to go down? Oh, wait a second. This just got interesting. Miyagi last live. He was on. I would have liked to see him go on the flank. He was watching the flank. Should have flanked up. He would have had a great advantage. However, he does have a nice line of sights on that B bomb. Just watching out, but he's going to have a player directly to his right. He needs to know oh, that. He's going. There he is. Got Nate shot. Now he's going for Ricky in that 1v1. Let's hop aboard with Ricky and see what he's up to. Ricky's actually just, I think he's actually going to push him. I don't think he has any tacticals on him, on his person. So I think he's actually going to just go for it oh, here. Oh, wait a second. Is he going for the ninja or is he going for the fake? He's going for the fake. Oh, no. And there it is, Miyagi. Not a fake. Not a fake. Three and one is going to be your score for Miyagi. Tearing it up, doing a great job. Optic falls in that round. And surprisingly, both offensive rounds have been won. Normally, it's quite the opposite. We see both the defensive rounds won, but both of the teams definitely have a great strategy. Huh. Going to be on board with Optic this time. Let's see if Nate Shot uh, brings out that sniffer once again. and see Nate Shot's basically going to do the exact same thing, but if I'm Nate Shot here, I actually probably let Skump handle the sniping just because he doesn't have a thermal. And we've seen so many smokes. Big T staying as the anchor in the way back, basically watching the flank. Nate Shot now trying to get yet another angle here. Skump has uh -oh. one. And did Nate Shot actually get the switch off in time or no? Let's see if Nate Shot did. No, he did not. So he's going to be. Oh, rocking. this so is going to be very, this is gonna be very interesting here. Uh, Nate Shot about to go big. What he's known for those quick scopes. Scump trying to spawn or excuse me, spam those bullets through that tarp. Not able to get a kill. Some shots going to be fire. Big timer still on that flank. Ricky damage. Look at that. But still up. He's going to be one shot. However, he does have that bomb unloading, and uh, looks like B once again, of course. And he's going forward with uh, Scump once again. See what Scump's up. That uh, thermal does get stunned. He's going to go ahead and back off. Scump reloading. 
repositioning himself and Optic really starting to bunch together again. A big timer may actually come on the flank. He know I think he senses him. He does. He's oh, no, no, the time. Oh. And he is able to win the battle here, making that a four on three. This means that Optic should be in the okay to actually get this plant down and stay on board with Big Timer for me here. Yep. I because we're going to be, and I think it is Skump who is going to be pushing through as well. Nice Skump's going to connect with one shot, misses the second one there, and this is going to be a two on three scenario. Big T going where Skump went down. Possibly nice. able to get a nice kill there. Last up is going to be attaching a 1v3. Let's hop on board with him, see what he's up to. He's going to be coming through, looking where Big Timer once was. Tom is down, 35 seconds remaining for that on the B bomb. Attach, going in, going to try to be sneaky here, however, he's going to get spotted, and there you go, Optic is going to win yet again their offensive round, bringing the score 2-1, to one, and this is uh, really a nail bite. Yeah, back and forth, back and forth, Miyagi and Attach, four kills, two deaths, three kills, three deaths, on the other side, Big T, mm. Four three one. kills in that round, man. Yeah, he really went off that round, almost getting the ace, and he and did a great job on that flank, you know, really... Doing a great job predicting where Elevate was going to be. Looking at Elevate now, nobody with a sniper, but changing up strategy. They're going to be going for A. Yep, and I really like this. Bring up the mini-map, please. And so we are going to be seeing the Optics actually sending two guys over here. And they said, well, we're not seeing any smokes, um, so I guess we can eliminate B. And now since Miyagi just threw that grenade, they're saying, okay, guys, all oh, let's start pulling back to A. And now this is going to be so very interesting here because they did already lose one. And it looks like they're going to wrap all the way back around, right. which I don't necessarily agree with. Wasted a lot of time. Yeah. But plus, they're, plus they're not set up on B. Basically, they're going into B blind at this point because they have no setup. Slasher's just been watching mid. We haven't seen how we go mid get except Big T in that last round on that flank. However, he had justification for doing so. So no reason to watch mid at the point. Slasher, he's going to be on that back egg glitch. Now going for loading Miyagi. He's still up top, watching middle slasher. It's going to be where uh, Nate Shot once was in the past, and he's going to be watching uh, that tarp section. Going to go in and uh, stun check it. He's going to go and nade it, even though he didn't get a hit marker. And uh, with those stuns and with the nades, Optic knows they're going to be there putting shots into the bomb carry, which is Stripe. He goes down. It's going to be down to a 2v4 man advantage towards Optic. Slasher sitting in the post office. Miyagi's actually going to come back. Exactly what they need to do, but down goes one player. Slasher getting hit markers, and he's not able to do it. Two, three members of Optic oh. all around the tarp. He is able to take out one. There's another one there. Hit marker again, reload. and he's going to get pinched, and that is all she wrote as Optic goes up 3-1. to one. Man, just couldn't reload fast enough, and plus that was a 1v3 situation. Don't blame him for going down. Attached tried his heart out, but Optic now currently leads 3-1 to one as they win the first defensive round of this game. So fantastic job coming from them. Ricky, that surge and destroy play that we were talking about bringing the search game for optic he is currently five and two big timer following behind at four and one hop on board with uh let's see who's got the sniper out nate shot it once again scump i'm assuming might be rocking a sniper as his secondary yep. we'll see stay on board with him you know if there strife just played a smidge better these rounds are going to go a little bit different and uh, you know that's uh, i call people out but he Really, really, really right. needs to step up if this team has any chance yeah. of winning the search. Yeah, zero and four. Definitely not re relatable to the first games that we saw. So scump up top. Let's get on board with uh, some action. As we're gonna be on board with uh, Ricky, he's gonna get stunned. There is a guy from Elevate in loading. Scump saw him, called him out, tried to put a shot on. However, he did miss by just an inch. And Ricky is gonna be on that head here, watching out. Nate shot is gonna go down. Big T on that flank. As I said earlier, he's actually gonna go on a flank. Let's stay on board with him and see what he's up to. Big timer. Pushing all the way around. He's actually going to have a guy right yep. around the corner. Not this corner, but the next one <laughs> over. He's going to be right in the hardware. And I don't know if Big T's going to check it. I, oh, my God. Oh, he didn't. He, he didn't, didn't check he it. He didn't. He didn't. He did not. But he's still on the play. He does, he does have an opportunity to take out this player. Well, however. the bomb is so far away. <gasps> Big T, Big T, there was very little he could do yep. there. He, His job right there in that scenario was to watch the flank. And right. then he ends up going around the flank when everything went south. And Called that's how it is. Saying, and that's just exactly what happened. And right now, three to two, Optic still leading by one. Elevate looking to make a comeback. You know, let's give some uh, stream love to Strife. See if Strife, maybe the stream love is going to help him out. He's currently zero and four. Maybe an A bomb. I don't know about that one, Bob. <laughs> well, Strife, he does have the bomb, and they're going to be going for B once again. And this has got to be scary because you know, Nate Shot and Scump, they've been rocking those snipers. They're going to have a great line of sight. Yep. Strife now switching to class, pulling out the MTAR. I guess he. I'm assuming we're going to see some smoke here based on the fact that we just saw uh, thermal and we see two very, very interesting 
smoke grenades here from Attach. Uh, one went into the loading dock for you know as good as I do, I, no I, idea. Okay. And then the other one into post office, which makes no sense. That was uh, that was actually really interesting. But Strive, he's going to be posted up next to B, ready to uh, make a plan. However, Attach is going to go down, looking at Slasher, looking through that smoke. Not able to spot a player just yet, however, with the Remington. As, uh, oh, there he goes. He's going to go down. Uh, I'm assuming because the smoke went in loading. Back. I still don't understand that as we're going to be in a 2v4 situation. Strife and Miyagi. Strife looking middle. Let's see what Strife's going to do on that flank. Trying to do, uh, pull a big timer. He does want to play. However, nice, not. Nice oh, pass. no, he did take out Scump. And now Miyagi last alive. Time for him to go clutch here in a 1v2. Miyagi. But one, he has to get the bomb. And he's taking damage. One, he's got to get this bomb. He has 15 seconds left. Or oh, I guess he's just going to go for the kills at this point, and he's going to be taken out. And that head glitch over there, and I believe that was Nate Shot who took him out on that truck. We're going to see now. Yep, it was, in fact, Nate Shot. He just had the head glitch on a better advantage. Great position from him. As he got a nice little kill there. Miyagi's going 6 and 4. However, Ricky is going 7 and 4 for Team Optic. Nate Shot, 5 and 3. And the bomb has been planted once on each side, <laughs> mind you. And that was round ones. And that was round one? Yep. I don't even know. But we're going to be on board. Maybe a little better use of smoke this time from Optic. We're going to be on board. Let's uh, stay on board. Let's get on board with the bomb here, Ricky. See what he's up to. Ricky slowly pushing up here. We have two thermals here from the members of Optic. Safe to assess. We are going to see the ceremonial smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta big, break, it. Gotta break big, it out. Big timer watching the flank. There you go, Scump. Watching the tarp position with the thermal. And look at this. this. Wait, big timer? Very, on? very, very interesting. This is the pit stop setup as they've been having. However, Big T on that flank, y'all look at the right time to go. Nobody spotted just yet to elevate. Look at them bunched up. They're going to be uh, not as bunched up as last time the topic was, but they're going to be bunched up three at a time. Someone on that flank. Big shot now, looking B. Ricky still not with the bomb plant. 40 seconds remaining. Force for two. Big timer on. Still stomp. Going for loading smoke down once again. Nate shot. He's going to make a move. He's going to be pushing up here, getting bold here. He does have uh, three players to his... Oh, no, one to his left. He's going to put some uh, damage into one player. He's going to go down, however. Scump trying to spot a player. Ricky is uh, still at B. He doesn't have time to make a rotation for A. This is uh, getting pretty drastic of a situation now. He's to push out. No defense. Elevate still pinned up. Get on board a big timer as he's got... So much that flank. I'm surprised he hasn't flanked around. No, it's a very, very precarious situation yeah. here. And the worst part about this is he has to shoot the gate, and now it is going to be 4 to 3. Oh, Optic uh, wasted a lot of time there. However, they still have a one point lead going into the defensive round. Elevate, they're going to be on the offensive and uh, expect them to switch up. Maybe go A. And uh, maybe smoke A, too. I would really like them to see. I would really, really, really like to see a hard egg. Yeah. Uh, I would like to see a four man all out rush to A with two guys jumping into American with the bomb carrier, jumping out the window and planning it as soon as you can. And then you have one guy just kind of watch the back end. And that's exactly what we're actually going to be seeing here is we're seeing a very, very, very strong end. Yeah, and uh, he is going to be pushing up. He's going to be watching that position towards middle. He's going to be down that bomb. I'm assuming Optic, yeah, they're going to be making that rotation over for A. So the cat's out of the bag. So at this point, you need to get the bomb down. However, we do know Optic is going to be spamming those nades at A. So you don't, you're not really safe at this point. But Strive trying to take some damage as the patch is going to go down. Slash around that flank. Strive still with the bomb. Not laying it down just shit. He needed to lay it down. If you're going to make an A bomb push, the, really, the most time you waste is not good because you can just spam nades. Plus, it's so easy to take you off if, if, as a defensive player. Miyagi hanging out, Slasher taking a look at the scenery, really just trying to get some bearings here, nice fire lit. <laughs> Optic, really good, they're playing defense here and I think we're going to see a rotation all the way back around and Optic's going to be fine with that because they still have man advantage, so right. uh, Optic, there's no real sense of urgency for them to push and try to get A, but Miyagi, oh my god, he's directly below him, Spots one. He is able to clean up one member of Optic now as he is going to descend all the way down to B. And we are seeing the three members of Optic at slowly a? start to push. They're at A, so it looks like they're going to get a successful bomb plant down. Miyagi needs to go big here. Work that two on three situation. Miyagi is currently not in four strife. He was able oh. to get a kill, but he just missed a player. He's going to get spotted. Player going to challenge him from the front. He's not looking the right way. Puts oh. some damage, though. He's able to take out Big T there. And uh, he has another player to his left. So now it's a 2v2 situation. Miyagi, he's going to be posted up, waiting to sound for that bomb. And then Strife now, 2 and 6, stepping up his game. That's a player directly to his left. Oh, man. 
Oh, I, I did he not see it through the oh, window and he's going to be taken out. And that is going to leave Miyagi in a position here. He is going to go from the horn. It's going to be Ricky and Miyagi. And they're right on top of one another. Double and Miyagi. Two -piece oh. of Miyagi with a nice clutch bringing the score 4-4. Four -four. And that's what Miyagi's known for. This guy is tearing it up 11-4. and four. We can safely say he's good in this was team. That was fantastic. Filthy. That was. He that did an excellent job what throwing time? all the way down. That what? was... That was so cute. Just disgusting. That was nice. I like that. that you know, that's what the call these about. That timing, man. That timing. You see that so often. So, one of the mini map now is we're going to be on board with Optic now. How are they going to answer back to that? Well, they're going to go for B. Nate shot, though. A bit unorthodox. No, he's going to be going there. I thought he's going to be rushing straight up. That would have been quite interesting. Ricky, of course, your bomb carrier. Scump, he's going to be joining Ricky in the back. Big T on that flank once again. And uh, are we going to see a bomb plant this time? That's the question. Yeah, that's that's really is it, man. But I, I I don't know necessarily. I mean, Optic isn't really one of those teams who's gonna throw the smoke up and then just jump on B. And right. Instead, they're looking to get the, get a pick and then rotate from there. We got Big T still watching the flank. He's gonna have one guy all the way over at A. And then other than that, we have three guys over on the east side of the map. And grenades go down. Nothing. No hit markers. Oh, finally a hit marker there from Nade Shot. Letting them know that there's at least one guy at the brown tarp. And uh, we do see a scump going down as well. Miyagi eight shot sends the bullets over there at tarp. Not able to take him out. The guy is going to run away. Does get some more hit markers. Strife is going to go down. It's going to be a 3 2 now. Oh. It's the man advantage. And eight shot just, you know, not scared. But only seven bullets remaining. He's going to have to pull out that secondary. Doesn't have bomb. Ricky still with bomb. Doesn't have it planted yet. Now, this is still a dangerous situation. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We got Big T going all the way around on the flank because he's oh, going to actually goes down. just be caught. Mm, that's not good. The nade shot. That's it got me worried. He has no bullets. Ricky. Oh, the bomb's not planted. Bomb's up. It's in a 1v1. It gets attached. Attached just has to stay alive. And they bring the score 5 4. However, nade shot's coming up behind him. Oh, he it just misses him. He's not going to have time to plant the bomb. And that's going to be it. 5 4 is the score. Yeah. Just wasted too much time there, Ricky. Oh man. Yep. That is uh That's unfortunate. Wow. That is unfortunate. Attach doing a great job running away. That, that's that's pretty gnarly, man. That is. That is. But Optic still in it. This is for uh tournament life of both teams. Yeah, well Miyagi showing that he is a complete savage, twelve twelve and five. Wow. And now we are seeing as they are going to be on the attack. And Miyagi's going to go all the way around for a full flank again. And now we're seeing as Optic now, they're going to actually take the ceremonial pose and just kind of be like, oh, <laughs> let's just watch B and keep one guy at A. And really, that Big T has, and well, Ricky has to work it out for him. Because yeah. Miyagi's going to be the guy who's right over to the right. So if he wins this individual battle, then it is safe to assess that Optic should be able to win this round. And now here comes the fight. Here comes. And Miyagi's going to draw first blood. This is nice. not looking good because now Miyagi has a full lane to just push straight through. Let's hop on board with Scum. Let's see what Scum's going to do. He's got the thermal out right with at the, the gate. Right at the gate. Right at that B-bomb. Ready to go into attack as soon as he knows it's going to be planted. And he's watching middle there, which has been a, a great transfer point still. 37 seconds remaining. Where's Big T? He, Big T's in a really good position as well. Smoke is going to be thrown. This time not in loading, but however on the bomb. So fantastic strategy there, you would assume. Oh, Scum no. is going to go down. It's going to be down to a 2v4. And there you go. Big T goes into action. Spots a player. Able to get out too. Oh, oh. goes for the three-piece. Not able to get it. Nate shot. Last alive. This time he does have bullets. He's going to go ahead and spam out those frag nades at the B-bomb. Which, he, if, if those nades were on point, he no, would have gotten one kill. I mean, that, he would have been living up to his name. Well, it shot, is, wouldn't look he? Look at this. Well, it is a one on one here. The bomb should be going down. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, just now. Nade shot. He's going to be on that. Flight. I don't know if he's going to get this bomb. I think they may have just won that round. And oh, they, did. they did. Wow. What a whip from that. Attach just waits a bit too long. Wow. I think, that is my I think I think Attach was going for the fake. I think he was expecting Nate Shot to be sound whoring him. But anyways, wow. we are going into round 11 here, and we have Optic on, on the defense here. And now that is going to be Scump, Big T, and Nate Shot all working in tandem. Going with a lightweight class here for Nate Shot here. Oh. And as he switches back around, he just wanted to cover as much ground as possible, and he didn't like what he saw when he pushed in there. And on the other side, we are seeing these four members of Elevate all stacking on B. They went back to their comfort. They did not want to go to A as... Wow. Oh, this going to be interesting. Nate Shot spots a player there on loading. He's not going to shoot, holding back his... Uh Ammunition there as he knows the players can be there. He's going to go ahead and call that out. Oh, oh. he's going to go down. 
Nate shot now up again as we're going to see a big T. Oh, he just gets a hit marker with that nade too. Spamming B, not able to get a kill. He is going to take some damage through that. Oh, big no. T goes down. It's now a 2v4 situation. Nate shot to Ricky. Nate shot with a nice drop shot. Able to take out Attach. They're bringing it down to a 3v2 situation. It's very intense. Ricky goes down. Nate shot. This is a huge moment for him. This is for the tournament life. Able to go no. in big. He's able to get a nice kill there, but he's damaged. He is weak. He's going to go ahead and uh, post up. Now he's going to challenge B. This is interesting strategy. Can go up. Could in fact meet up with two players. It's a guy directly to his right. Goes in for the. No, it's not there. Where's he at? He's, over, he's on the outside. He's oh, oh, right there. Oh, and there it is. Optic, ladies and gentlemen, being eliminated from this tournament. That was a nail biter. That came down to the wire. To the T, man. To the T. The T Round man. 11. Wow. 3 to 2. Miyagi 15 and 7. Yeah. So. Wow. Miyagi and the guys of Elevate showing that they are very, very dominant on yes. Search and Destroy. Yeah, Did I mean, not they are. drop a Search and Destroy versus them. Uh, but, you know, you got to ask, you know, their, their respawn's a little bit worrisome. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Their respawn is worrisome, but their Search and Destroy, you know, that's... Oh, it's amazing. It, <laughs> yeah. It's, it, it's, it's honestly amazing. I mean, because Miyagi and Slash are just that duo. And, and Strife, he struggled in the, you know, in the first round, but of course, or excuse me, in the second round, but the first round they did well. And, of course, Optic and Elevate are shaking hands. It's all love from the yeah. community. You know, Optic did a fantastic job coming out, really showing an improvement with Ricky. And, For sure. Uh, I, I expect them to really improve as time goes on in tournaments and future tournaments, yeah. whenever the next one will be. Well, we have more matches coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. For myself and Reflections, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned.